So it's Sunday. So let's do a Bible lesson. It's not going to happen every Sunday. It may happen on Tuesday. <laughs> because only soulless things label things. Because their brains are incomplete. And they have to simplify things. So they have to go to the labels. So it's like, on Sunday I do this and pray God. Because they don't have a soul to be complete enough to do it all the time. That's how you know you're not a person and your life is worthless. So... Back to the Bible. Anyone who has to digest the Bible into individual scriptures and not read whole chapters or not read the whole book or not read the whole Bible and understand it in a one accord way, anyone who can't do that isn't a person. Genesis 2. I'm going to talk about how God ignores the serpent. That's what's important here. <laughs> he said, don't eat from the middle of the tree because he's ignoring the serpent. The same way these beasts are ignored and have to go to man-made churches that God has nothing to do with. <laughs> so, what does God say? What does God say? When does God say, don't eat from the middle of the tree? Let's go to Genesis 3. So he said that in Genesis 2. So let's go back to Genesis 2. Tuesday, 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 don't eat from the metal tree. Bam, 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 bam. Chapter 2, verse 15. The Lord God took the man and put him. He only spoke to Adam, not Eve. <laughs> Put him in a garden to work and take care. To defend this homeland were the pillars of logic, order, accuracy, which beasts single focus to righteousness and they don't know what it means. It's just a word, it's just a word they're trying to apply their own meaning to. Like, you know, when you take a dumb, a dumb lesser kid and you say, what does this mean to you? <laughs> and, they think, and they think they can apply their meaning. Or in another situation. Where they take a coloring book and, and paint the sky purple or something. They start painting animals green. Like a horse green or something. That means it's not a person. When you see a kid do that. That's one of the earliest signs that to an absolute level it's not a person. It doesn't even live in reality. It's, a, it's just a retarded thing. That's trying to apply its dumb retarded lesser meaning to stuff. It means it's not a person. So they, the beast applies that to righteousness, which is just accuracy, not not making mistakes that don't have to happen in God's paradise. Stuff having good fundamentals like thinking ahead, stuff like that, which a monkey can't do because it's not a person and it's too dumb to know. That means it's not a person. That doesn't mean someone needs to help it. It means it's not a person. <laughs> so God only talked to Adam and put him in charge of defending a homeland and taking care. of and taking care of this earth. And chapter 16 is just a knock on soulless fucks. Moses was thinking about the Egyptian fucks. Because any soulless fuck is going to be a rubber stamped image. And it's just a product of its environment. But it's not capable of anything greater. It's not capable of really doing anything decent. That's why the first thing they drop is all that decency that they pretend with their social integrity that's lesser and only amongst each other which is also the human version of a pack system real people are deeper and never fall into that they just have natural real integrity and if they're doing something wrong you can explain it to them in details the beast and their social integrity is based on shame and others so you can use that to know it's not a person it's not someone who needs help if you think it needs help then you're believing a facade because you're a loser you're believing the stuff that retarded monkey is pretending to do. <laughs> that's And that stuff is the first thing that is dropped when it's frustrated. Because it is not a person. So, verse 16 is just Moses making fun of, or mocking beasts. You could say, by putting a, by putting a perfect metaphor with the serpent, which is their representative in this story he created. <laughs> they are represented by the serpent. And he's making sure that you see that God ignores the serpent. God, God ignores these soulless, desperate pieces of shit. 
where he just said, you don't, he says everything except the serpent. <laughs> you don't eat from the middle trees. <laughs> just going, almost going out the way to not mention a serpent. Because God ignores the serpent. God ignores all these soulless fucks. So, you can see this, which is not tied, it's not logically tied to Revelation 2.9. Where it's just like there's going to be turds in the church benches. There's, there's going to be turds stinking up your church. <laughs> who have the attitude from hell that Satan created in them. That's what Revelation 2.9 said. Because it's true. And those are serpents who are so desperate that God ignores them. They're rushing to the church. That, that's how everything ties together. They're trying to rush and stink up the church. That was the motivation that caused them to crucify Jesus based on the motivation that caused the Jews to kill them for trying to create false prophecies and trying to claim the, their, their religious prophecies were coming true in front of their eyes and sending false messiahs to them to make them have to, to make these desperate losers who weren't good enough for God to make them selves involved with something they're not good enough for. <laughs> they, they, kept, they kept trying to lower the bar and kept trying to f do what only serpents can do, fool the Jews with false prophets that made them have to start killing these pests, these retarded, soulless pests that, that aren't good enough, that God ignores, that have no connection to God. Just trying to stink up a fucking church. Just continuously bringing a, what you can call the false prophet of the week so they can get themselves involved. Like a parasite, like a hanger on. <laughs> like you, like get some patsy and, and fill their head up they, saying that, yeah, you're, you're special. Now go to the Jews so you can help us. <laughs> so we can be involved in their religion. Cause it looks like they have so much going on and we want to test to see if that ends our emptiness since we're serpents who God ignores. But that's, that's what's going on, but they're too dumb to know themselves. So you have to apply that label to the dumb animals. So God goes out the way to ignore the serpent, which is, which is every soul as fuck you can meet. Every soul as fuck. They're desperate. They don't have a connection. If they're a loser who's still trying to find a purpose as an adult, <laughs> they're, they're, and the last thing they always go to is, is the church, that would be the first thing they would go to if they were a person. So it's the last thing they, that they go to after their worthless life felt because they're a weak and complete piece of shit. And then they run to God last. And then think, and then think everyone is going to overclap like a baby playing t-ball where you just overclap when they did nothing. They're, they're thinking you're going to overclap that they're going to run to God and religion last after their life felt. Which is just a flaw of them not being able to think over ego because they're not a fucking person.